Welcome to Credit Matters. I'm Mike Skirbo, Standard & Poor's Corporate Ratings Group. Today we're going to talk a little bit about US, U.S. apparel makers and retailers. I'm joined by David Kuntz, who's a director in the retail team, and Linda Phelps, who's a director in the consumer products team, both based here in New York. Guys, thanks for joining. Thanks. David, start with you. Give a little background. What's the status? Where, where, where is the U.S. consumer right now? Okay. The consumer is definitely feeling the macroeconomic headwinds that we've been facing probably for the last couple of years. Issues with unemployment, housing, consumer sentiment is down. So there's a lot of things that are going on in the consumer, consumer's mind, um, and they're very cautious. So we're, we're seeing a lot of, a lot of uh, weakness out there, and the consumer is definitely responding. Um, however, I, th I would say that the luxury consumer is probably doing a little bit better, mm -hmm. a little more concerned with sort of how the capital markets are doing, and as long as the volatility sort of stays low, she'll go out and spend. All right, good. Uh, Linda, maybe talk uh, the chance of a double dip recession. Uh, right now, we, we have it about 40 percent. How are the apparel makers positioned uh, if things were to, if the economy was to deteriorate further? Sure. Um, well, we believe that most of the apparel companies are better positioned today than they were back in, say, 2008 uh, for several reasons. First of all, um, companies have taken steps to improve their operating efficiency, um, including the implementation of lower cost, more efficient global, source, uh, global sourcing uh, models. Um, they also have better managed um, inventories right now. Management teams have been cautious uh, managing growth um, and have been more aggressive with um, uh, marking down, clearing out stale inventory. Uh, lastly, the balance sheets have strengthened over the past several years as debt levels have been reduced with um, operating cash flow that was generated uh, through the recessionary period. Sure. David, retailers? Certainly. I think the retailers are much better positioned uh, today than they were in late 2008. I think if things were to erode, they would do so sort of less, uh, less sharply uh, than they did back in, in 2008. So I think that the, the, the inflection point wouldn't be as, as, uh, as much. Retailers have cut a lot of costs because of what happened over the past few years, and they've kind of kept those, those cost structures lean. They've kept their inventories thin, so there's less, less discounting that would take place. And I think that um, the balance sheets are, are stronger. They've reduced debt over the past few years. They've built up sizable cash balances. So, so I think the retailers are, are generally better prepared if things were to or to kind of erode further over the near term. Sure. Well, Linda, I, I want to uh, m maybe talk a little bit about, we've heard a lot about price inflation. Uh, how, do, how do we expect that's going to play out and affect performance over the next several quarters for, for the apparel makers? Sure. Um, uh, higher production cost is a topic that we've been talking about for the past year, um, and that's related to higher labor freight and uh, probably more meaningfully uh, the cost of cotton. Mm -hmm. Um, the cost of cotton um, peaked at about $2 a pound back in 2010 and is now down um, at about a dollar a pound, but it's probably going to take, um, you know, till the second half of 2012 to cycle through the order and the uh, production cycle for most of these companies. So we're not expecting to see a benefit until probably um, of the lower cost of cotton till the second half of 2012. Uh, the response for most apparel companies has been to take um, modest pricing increases during the first half of this year. Um, and we're expecting more significant increases uh, for the remainder of this year and into the first half of 2012. Uh, the apparel companies have indicated that um, the re their retail partners have um, pretty much understand the um, increase in cost and have accepted um, the, the pricing increases. Sure. David, from the right. retailer's point of view? Certainly. And like Linda said, the retailers are, have definitely accepted that, that prices are going up. Um, for the most part, they're looking to pass through these costs to the consumer. Um, we're expecting costs to rise in the uh, mid-single-digit, low-double-digit area for, for apparel prices. Um, and there's the consumer sort of realizes this. It's, it's happening across the board, so there's, there's a little bit of resistance, not as much. Um, the retailers are looking to differentiate their merchandise, and so that's sort of a way to kind of get around some of the commodity commodity cost pressures. Mm -hmm. Obviously the retailers that, that can't do that, that are feeling more, um, more their products are more commodity type in nature or more basics, those are the guys who are going to feel it the most. 
Great. Well, what, one last question for you both. Uh, Linda, let's start on the apparel. What, what is our expectation on, on operating performance over the next several quarters, and how does that translate to our outlook for credit quality? Sure. Uh, well, we're looking for probably more uh, pressure on operating margins for the rest of this year and into the second half of uh, 2012 as companies begin to bear the full impact of the um, higher cost uh, during that time. However, companies will probably still report full year profitability for 2011 based on the strength of their first half uh, performance. Um, also operating cash flow levels will uh, probably be lower given the higher investment and in inventory levels this year, uh, which was mostly related to higher cost of goods, mm -hmm. um, but also some inc modest increase in the number of units to support growth. Um, however, our expectation is for debt levels to remain relatively flat. Um, the vast majority of our outlooks for the sector are stable. Um, however, uh, performance will, of course, depend on the consumer. Sure. David, similar view, retailers? Certainly. I think uh, we are expecting that retailers are going to do modestly positive. Obviously, not as much as, as well as they've done during the first half of 2011, but still kind of eke out again during the, the second half. Um, we expect moderate department stores sort of trend slightly positive. Luxury guys could actually do a little bit better um, if the capital markets hold up. Consumer will still, will still be shopping this holiday season. For specialty apparel, um, probably slightly negative. Again, a lot of the commodity cost issues are, are really going to work their way mm -hmm. through the system in the second half of 2011 and early 2012. Well, that's great. Thank you both for joining. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you again next time.